Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica Yik, the Dancing Avon Lady, and today is not an Avon-related video. Oh my gosh, what are we going to talk about then? We're going to talk about my face. My face, my friends, my face. As you've probably noticed, ever since having my beautiful boy Nathaniel, my face has been breaking out. And... <laughs> I have also complained about acne in my scalp, and I probably wouldn't have mentioned acne anywhere else on my body because that would be highly inappropriate to tell you guys that, no? Yes. We are close though, aren't we? Anywho, moving on. I just want to jump on here for a really quick update to tell you guys what's going on. So we finally possibly figured out what is the underlying cause for all of these breakouts. I got to the point where I thought I was like premenopausal. So I asked my doctor, my doctor did confirm that I'm probably still a little bit too young for that. So she sent me to a dermatologist and the dermatologist that I went to uh, was at the Center for Dermatology uh, in the greater Toronto area. It turns out that he believes that I might have something called, and I could be butchering how I'm saying this, but folliculitis. Folliculitis. <laughs> You never try to say it. So basically, it's like the inflammation of the hair follicles, and I can be getting it anywhere there's hair on my body, including my scalp, eyebrow. Well, it's not my eyebrows. Sideburns, eyebrows, mustache area, <laughs> as armpits, and all of those other unmentionable areas. So I am now on a slew of stuff. Because the ones on my scalp line, because you guys can't really see it, but they do crust up and it hurts sometimes. It'll, the pain will actually wake me up at night. Every now and then if I roll on it funny it, and I press on it, I'll wake up. So my uh, dermatologist has now prescribed a bunch of stuff. I'm going to be on a, I think it was like a three month course of antibiotics as well as I have some topical gels I'll be applying and a face wash that I also need to be using on top of my regular skincare routine because he did say that I need to use my regular moisturizer and everything. I will probably also still double cleanse because I need to make sure I take off all my makeup, sunscreen before I start using my medicated stuff. So I don't know if I'm actually going to come back on here to do another update specifically about this particular issue that I'm having unless you guys want it and if you do let me know in the comment section but yeah it's I'm, I'm i'm really happy that it wasn't like anything crazy like early pre-menopause i don't know but I'm, I'm really happy that wasn't anything crazy and it could be the folliculitis which apparently is actually quite common um sometimes it does go away on its own but because i've had it since it started when i got pregnant with nathaniel and then it kind of like got worse after it, it, then i had a period of calmness and then it got worse again after he stopped breastfeeding. So it could have been stress, it could be a lack of sleep that just kind of like triggered the my immune system to go really wonky. Apparently it does affect people with a weaker immune system, which I am one of those human beings, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, so that, that hopefully, you know, this will help solve things. Now the markings itself, he did say that because of my skin tone, um, marks will stay on my face a little bit longer than the average bear, even though I don't think bears actually get pimples, but hey, you never know. <laughs> Have you ever seen a bear with a pimple? Have you ever seen a bear with a pimple, Moy? Uh, you know, I don't see bears that often. <laughs> She's so funny. So, I mean, uh, he said that time and sunscreen will help these beauties. Now, I wear sunscreen every single freaking day, pretty much. So that's not a problem. And if you don't, you should too. But the antibiotics that he put me on can also cause, I guess, sunburns more easily because it also reads there that, you know, it can make me more sensitive to the sun. So I was like, oh, wow, I never knew antibiotics could do that. So <laughs> if you've had experience for you light us let me know in the comment section because i would love to hear what your story is on that and what your experience has been on that and what you did to make it all go away because i can't wait for this to go away yeah i just can't wait for it to go away but i'm going to start my first treatment on the completion of this video so Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you're new here and I would love for you to come hang out again, make sure you do click that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification as I do have new videos every single week. And um, if you're looking for more Avon content, I'll post up a playlist up here with some something or another that I think you might enjoy. All right, guys. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.